Welcome back to another fat tutorial where the top of my head is cut off again. I don't know how to work a camera. I should get a better one, but I can't just yet. Yeah, this feels a little weird. Hold on a second. Oh, that's more better. Let's get funky with it. note was a mistake or one of the notes I'm gonna leave it in because I don't know how to edit all right so as you can tell from the title it's gonna be a lot of fun because we're gonna learn Lin's parts to rodeo now it's gonna be very similar to the guitar part rhythm wise but you're just playing uh, one string at a time which makes it a lot of fun if you add a lot of distortion and focus the uh, hits on the one string might not sound as beefy as the bass, but it sounds pretty beefy and it's fun going all over the fretboard. Jumping around doing the splits like Lynn, who's a badass and she can eat my babies anytime and I still wouldn't get mad. Gosh, she's awesome. Anyway, I digress. So, starting off, you're going to slide from the 7th fret of the 5th string. Now, uh, think of the bass as the 4 thickest strings of the guitar. So I, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be talking in guitar speak. It's gonna be six, five, four, and three. And uh, so on the guitar, fifth string, the seventh fret to the fourth fret. And then when you're on the fourth fret, you're gonna hit it as soon as you land there. So hit the seventh uh, fret. going to be fifth string seven slide over to fourth fret and hit it four times in total one two three four and you're going to hit the seventh fret of that uh, same string and then the fifth string open so the whole thing together if you want to play along so slide with me i will go slow I'm stretching using my pinky, I'm used to it, but if you want, just use the one finger. Here is easier for you, I'm just used to the pinky. So, after you hit that 7th uh, fret for the second time, you know, it's going to hit open 2 more times on the same string, and then 7th fret of the same 5th uh, string. And then you're going to go to the 6th string and hit it open. So a lot of the rhythm is going to be like this. So. And then you get this cool part, which uh, is a lot of fun to play. Whenever you can, play it. Eat some cereal, play it. Grab a burrito. Play it, because you can hold the burrito in one hand and play it. Just slam the fuck out of your fingers. So, that, and then open, one, two, three, remember it's open on the sixth string, and then you're going to do that little walk on, go to the fifth string is seven six four six so let's try it all together i'm gonna go a little slower uh follow along and uh, if you have any questions leave it in the comments below uh come to my house uh we'll grab a soda and uh let's try it up to the open part i mean sorry up to the this part all right so starting at the slide like that. 
that begin to have that, that funk rhythm. Oops. So it's um Uh, the way I play it is down, down, up, up, down. So down, down, up, up, down. Bob your head, uh, you know, tap your foot, shake a tree, whatever it is you can do to, uh, you know, keep keep that rhythm going. You're keeping that sense of, uh, sense of time. Be your own metronome. If you have a metronome, play along to it. Uh, set it to the count of uh, one of Myra's uh, drums. You can set it to the kick. That's usually what's keeping the the tempo. That way uh, you'll play along, uh, you know, in perfect time. You're not going to be too fast at some point and then too slow. You'll have that inner sense of time, which is going to help in the long run. So, and the rhythm uh, is going to be down, down, up, down, down, down. So with the same notes as before, you only slide in the beginning. So once you hit that riff, just go straight into the punk part. And then the, for the chorus, Going back to the fifth string on the fourth fret, and then you're gonna go on the same fifth string down to the second fret, and then you're gonna go to the seventh fret, and back to the fourth. I'm oh, sorry, not back to the fourth. It's gonna be to the sixth string on the fifth fret. So starting over will be on the fourth fret. Sorry, on the third, uh, on the fifth string of the fourth fret. And second fret, seventh fret, sixth string, fifth fret. Now I'll go a little slower. Play along. Um, get comfortable with it first. Always get comfortable before you start going faster. It's okay if you start off slow as long as you get it right. I prefer it if you get it right and uh, eventually big, build up your speed as opposed to you going as fast as all crazy H-E double fuck and uh, you know just the song sounds all over the place. You're not doing anyone justice. You're cheating yourself and it's just bad news bears. So going off slow. On the fifth string fourth fret so down down up up down up and then second fret down down up up down up seventh fret down down up up down up and then jump up to the sixth string on the fifth fret um yeah sixth string fifth fret down down up up down up so That's the first part. Now it's going to repeat again, starting on the on the third string, fourth fret, second fret, seventh fret, now sixth string, fifth fret, and on the second time around, you're going to go from that sixth string, fifth fret down to the seventh fret, and it kind of goes back and forth. open six string and you're gonna hit the octave which is gonna be the third string seventh fret so down up down up I'm sorry yeah down down up up down and the last down is gonna be on the on that uh, third oh, I'm sorry on that uh, fifth string wow too confusing so six fifth string. I'm sorry if I said third string earlier. I'm holding the bass and I immediately translate to bass, uh, bass string. 
So, uh, down, down, up, up, down, and then boom, down on that fifth string of the seventh fret. So, so we're gonna play it one more time. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm kind of lost, but here we go. On, on the open down down up up down up down down up up down up and then boom adding that one that one hit on that fifth string seventh fret so when we want to play the the open e the little octave thing the little disco thing so so it's going to be in the remember sixth string open and then So if you want to play the whole chorus together with me, oof, that was too loud, sorry about that. Let's get it started right now. So from the chorus, starting on the fifth string, fourth fret. Now, one, two, I'm going to count it in, obviously. One, two, three. After that, Lynn has this really cool, um, I guess you can call it solo, but it, she has that little riff on the bridge there. And that part, it's just a lot of fun. You're going to be on that fourth string on the 11th fret. So that same rhythm, the down, down. fret of the same string and then 13 of the I'm sorry I'm gonna go on that fourth string now so 13 11 13 11 so you do it twice and you're gonna hit the uh, fourth string six five four three all right so on the fourth string starting over on the 11th fret, and then 13th fret, and then you're going to go down to that 3rd string, you're going to hit 13, 11, 13, 11, and you're going to go back to the 4th string on the 14th fret, so, see if you can see it better on the camera, alright, I'm hitting the 4th string, 
on the 11th fret and then boom there and then now play along with me hopefully you can see a little better sorry about the shadow so string That's when Jenny's doing the solo, and we all know how pretty Jenny is. They're all beautiful. Talented. I'm jealous. So, but that's a basic riff. tutorial and that's fat with the ph because this is a dopest tutorial around kid tested mother approved my pants are in the closet they're clean i promise and uh tune in next week hopefully give me more song ideas